I miss the lonely. Make out with your own 3D human being. What's good, people of the interwebs? My name is Steffi Harner. Welcome back to my channel. I am a freelance model and front end developer here in Tokyo. And we back with another episode of my five favorite filters of the month. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so you can use these sultry ass filters to send to your significant other or your crush or just record and have fun with yourself because you fulfill yourself. You can be your own Valentine's. All right, let's get started. First up, we got A Whole Lot of Love by Mark Wakefield Yards. Oh my God, my face. It's good. I don't know what's happening. <gasps> It's using a face, uh, a face tracker and applied a 3D object into my face to cover it and using an occluder in the back. I'm trying to figure out how, like what part of the background it, is it using and why does it look so natural? It really looks like uh, you can see through my head. I got like Kamehameha in the face. Does the arrow go out of my the back of my head? I don't know, it just goes into the abyss that is the emptiness of my brain. He did a really good job with the occluder. Um, I like how the heart changes colors. Um, oh, okay, it changes colors when I blink. Okay, I get it now. It's really hard to notice because like I can't see my eyes blinking, so I don't even realize. Um, oh, you can place it. Wait, 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 tap to place. Oh, okay, so I can pick the background. If you want the background to look even more natural, you can tap on the area you want it to take the background from so it can look like it's actually going through your face. And that, there it goes, it works. Yeah, and this, is, this, this describes my, how my Valentine's Day is gonna be this year. Empty and hollow and cyber. <laughs> Next up. We got Pixel Love GK by Gregory Kessie. What's up, Greg? I really love pixel art, especially interactive pixel art. Like, what's up, cutie? How you doing? It's like really simple, but it's very flattering. There's like a lot applied to this filter, so it just gives a little bit of a grainy, um, soft skin touching. Um, wait, let me look at my crush right now. Hey. I see you. Do you see me? <gasps> if I um, move the the color picker, oh, look at this heart! You win. You win. It's like one of those Mario hearts. That's off of my head. Okay, and then there's this. I've never seen this before, actually. One of the color pickers says add media. You can select one of your media. I didn't know you could do this. So let me introduce to you my first love, Future Trunks. True facts. I didn't like real boys growing up. I love Trunks. My first love, my true love, my only love. Can I show my Future Trunks? And so I could remember him always. I really love pixel art, you know? It reminds me of doing my thing on paint. Bruh, y'all remember that? So I really love it when pixel art is like integrated into AR, because um, I think it's like the first type of digital art that was very accessible. And AR is actually pretty accessible too. Like Spark AR is free, y'all. Free! And if you want to learn how to do it, you could just look up on Google how to make these filters, like filters just like this. Use your pixel art from the 1990s and integrate them into your filter. Do it. I dare you. And then if you need inspiration, go go search on Instagram for, for other filters like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this one is called I Love You by Katya.Kranznikova. And it's a really simple filter, but I really enjoy filters that utilize kind of like a neon sign. I'm really into neon colors, as you can see by my, my neon lit room. This is a really perfect filter to send to your loved ones. Like, I love you so much, I'm, I'm crying hearts out of my eyes. Love you. Make me so happy. 
So, okay, this filter is using a face tracker and then applying a 2D object. Yeah, it's like not, it's not a 3D object as you, if you like look really closely, it's like replicating like a neon sign. But like if you hold it far away, um, it looks like a neon sign. And look at these like tiny little hearts that are like coming out of my eyes like this. Like they're just coming out at a really good pace. Um, it's not too overwhelming. It's like a really nice touch. It's just um, an ongoing loop animation. And I don't know, like stuff like this, it's like really simple, but it's uh, really fun to use and sends a very clear message. I love you. You're great. Keep doing you, boo. So this is Sukuna by Felviel. I'm a really big fan of this Alternative Chica's filters. Like they're always super, super flattering and they're very, very dark and enjoyable. I can't even do my makeup that well. <laughs> Yeah, this is oh, this is probably one of my favorite filters. It's using a, a face tracker and applying a face mesh, and this face mesh has these nice Sakuna details. Oh, whoa, this is such nice detail. My eyes, you see that? It looks so like. I mean, red eyes aren't natural, obviously, but like this is so well done. Well, it just looks like these are my actual eyes. Like, wow. And then we have like the slider here to slide off the Sakuna. Like, I'm just a normal like slightly demonic girl, but look at me, I'm actually Sukuna. This is that sultry filter I'm trying to t tell you about. Yeah, if you did not know, you can call on Instagram now. You can do video calls and you can use Instagram filters and apply them to your video. So, you know, Corona times, you can't really meet up for new dates, but you can go give them an Instagram video call and apply this sultry ass filter and, and do your thing, do your sultry thing. Hey, you the devil? because I want to sell my soul to you. Hey there, boy. Are you Nutella? Because I like to spread them on bread before I sacrifice you to the Dark Lord. Next, we have Laser Heart Beam by my girl Delia Co. She makes some dope-ass filters and she publishes one every week, so go and follow her, y'all. This is probably my favorite one that I found for Valentine's Day, so check it out. We start off with a bunch of, um, with a bunch of diamond hearts. Oh, what is that flashing noise? Like, what is happening right now? What is happening? Oh, I'm gonna shoot laser beams out of my eyes. How much I love you. <laughs> this is how much I adore you. Let's figure out what is going on with this filter. How does she do this? So if I blink, okay, if I blink, it triggers this chaotic light and then wow oh yeah and then there's like little like lights shooting out of my eyes as well along with the beams oh uh, yeah it, this is so beautifully done girl i'm i'm in love with it i'm gonna send this to my whole family my brother my sister my mom my, my daddy my girl group all my ex-boyfriends <laughs> whoops <laughs> Bonus for y'all. Two special filters by Wulito Studio. Um, there is a girl and a guy version. It's called Not Lonely Anymore. <laughs> and it's freaking hilarious. Um, oh my god. Uh, I do. <laughs> I don't consent. <laughs> this is not the Valentine's Day I want. <laughs> this is what happens when you drink, drink too much tequila in the club. All right, now I'm trying to figure out how they did this. They definitely got um, a like a, a 3D model character and did like a really good job with the animation. It's definitely tracking my face. So if I move my head, tilt my head to the left, um, the neck bends, the 3D object's head bends in the opposite direction. So it makes it look like um, we are making out. <laughs> this is very distracting <laughs> to explain. Yeah, and then we have um, just like a 2D um, heart image that is using probably an emitter. These hearts right now, so it's just, it's just one heart and using an emitter to just trickle up the hearts very slowly. Um, yeah, you can send it to your, your folks if you want to prank them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. If you're gonna be forever alone like me, it's the perfect filter for you. Make out with your own 3D human being. There you go. These are my top five Valentine's-esque, flirty, sultry, lovable filters of the month. 
made by some pretty dope ass creators. So go give them a follow. You can see their accounts like below. All of them make some other really awesome filters. You know, if you're interested in learning Spark AR and creating AR filters yourself, I have a couple of tutorials. So hit that subscribe button, bruh. Like this video if you want to see more. Comment any suggestions on filters you'd like to see or videos you'd like to see about Spark AR below. And you know what? There's also this really cool community on Facebook, Spark AR Creators. It's the official Facebook group for Spark AR. And lots of new and experienced creators share their knowledge and share their filters. And you can get a lot of inspiration there. So if you have a Facebook account, go search Spark AR, join that group, welcome yourself into the community. I'm there. All these filter creators are also there sharing their works. Hope to see you there. Spread the love. Unbreak my heart Say you love me again Undo this hurt you caught When you walked out the door And walked out of my life You got this <laughs> Hey bruh Are you Nutella? I'm blushing though. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna focus it on my face to replicate the the motion of of eating out. <laughs> I mean, of making out. We done, bro. We done. Uncry these tears. I cried so many nights. Unbreak my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Come back. I need you. <laughs>